So, ignore the uh, the bed head. I have literally just got out of bed. Um, but I wanted to come and do a few tests today. So today's test day, and I keep meaning to do it, but the weather and everything else keeps stopping me from doing it. A few things I want to test is first my uh, Envelope headset with the uh, the GoPro audio connection. It didn't go to plan last time. Um, as soon as I activated the side tones on the helmet, it had an effect on the audio on the GoPro, which I didn't expect. Uh, and what else do we need to check? Oh yeah, and obviously the motor. Um, I've been doing some tweaks and tuning to the carb. It wasn't running very well last flight, so that's the plan. All those tests and uh, hopefully get some footage that's usable uh, in the meantime. And then, uh, and yeah, maybe we'll put a little video together if it's any good. Go and set up and then I'll speak to you soon. Right then, let's see how well this goes. We're just wearing our joggers today and our hoodie. No gloves. I don't think we need any gloves. It is warm enough. We are running uphill. It's going to be fun. Right then, let's see if this bad boy starts. What do you think? Reverse launch? Yeah, go on. I've got to get good at the reverse launches. I've only done one in the last over a year. Oh, Smokey Joe. Alright. I've already kited the wings so we know that's all okay. Right over left. Twist left. Turn left. Anybody behind us? Engine seems smoother already. Okay. as I thought it was going to be because it's pretty hot on the ground. Also what I want to kind of introduce as well is the fact that um, I'm trying to get to the whole power vlogging side of things. Now I've never been a very great speaker. Um, it's definitely not me bumpy around here. So yeah I've never been a great speaker. I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. I've obviously took my inspiration from the likes of uh, Tucker and Judson and Paranoob, uh, Golf Fox Strut, Tutu and those kinds of people that do a really good job of it. But they also do a really good job of video editing which um, really makes the whole experience. But I thought I'd give it a go just because I want to share my experience. And you know, it's... Okay, I lied very bumpy but yeah the main purpose is just to test the audio before I start vlogging really but if it turns out successful then then we'll use it simple as that oh god it's horrible up here but it's all good experience kind of it's smooth every time My scabby trainers. I've never been one for flying boots. That's where my train is, except for if it's winter when I'm expecting a wet field, then I'll wear some boots. But Oh, yeah, the engine has definitely improved. Good, climb right on that.
Yep, I'm happy with that. Definitely sounds so much smoother when I'm just regulating the throttle. And hopefully I shouldn't burn as much fuel. Because my spark plug was black. Right, we'll do a couple of little turns and just see how this... Uh... Oh. See how the wind behaves. I think it was definitely smoother down low. So that's not too bad down there. We're in a bit of a bowl. Quick power line check. Just do a little swoopy doop down here. Oh. Definitely lumpy down here. Remember folks, always fly low where you know you can land. If I did have to land here, I can, uh, I can get back out. Just go through this gap. <laughs> so I've not flew around these fields before, so we've just got to keep checking for the power lines. Because they do sneak up on you. Ah, oh, buttery smooth engine today. It's loads better. It's just a shame the air is trash. One minute it's perfectly smooth and all of a sudden, boom! It's just on the top of the street. Lovely jubbly. Now remember Craig, we haven't got much fuel. I was going to try and do some touch and goes, maybe we will, we'll see. Yeah, I wasn't going to fly today, a bit of work. On a kind of semi-night shift, early hour start. And, um, I had a quick look at XC weather and it said yes. So, I said yes, set my alarm, got up early. I feel good to be back. Nice bit of altitude fresh air. Seen perks you up. Man, I hate this audio works. Paramount pilots spend a long time searching for great audio. I just hope this little uh, setup works. It's an expensive setup. And later, um, once I have got this setup sorted, later on I will do a bit of a review on the headset itself. Um, let's go this way because the army base is over there. So yeah, I will do a, a review on the headset itself. I've got the latest Envelo headset, which you can buy just as a headset. You don't have to buy the helmet. I've just screwed it onto um, a skateboarding helmet kind of thing. It's got uh, side tones, noise cancellation, uh, Bluetooth, two meter radio, air van, FM radio, you name it, it's got it. Um, and so far I've been really impressed with it. I say the only thing I've noticed is obviously recording your GoPro footage, if you have the side tone on so you can hear yourself talk, because at the minute I can't, um, it does for some reason make the audio sound completely different and it is a lot better without the side tone on. So the side tone I'm just going to use if I'm flying with friends, is, um, I'm not recording any GoPro audio and I can just, obviously it makes life easier hearing yourself. So I'll try and do a review on the, the GoPro 10 because I've never had a GoPro 10 before. I've never had a GoPro before. Um, so the whole thing was a new experience, but I thought why not go all out and get the good one? This little bit up in front here, this little uh, row of trees. It's a nice little playground, but it is close to this. See, this bit's not actually the army barracks. If it was, I'd be too close, and they might think I'm some sort of Russian spy. The army barracks is over there. Um, this is now just a storage facility. That looks like an army barracks. Are we good for power lines? Yep. Yeah over this little road. We'll 
go through this gap here. And then we'll pick back over to the field, um, do a couple checks, swap the camera mount over, and then go from there. Hopefully all is well. I'm so chuffed that this engine is finally where I want it to be. It's took me ages to get this carb tuning right. They are literally minute adjustments, especially that low needle. A touch wood, it seems to be working. I've got a few dog walkers to uh, watch out for. Which way did we take off? We took off up the hill. So we'll come back in over there, up the hill. I don't know, do I leave the engine running and try a touch and go? I don't know, we'll see. We will see. You know what, I can't even remember the last time I did a touch and go. Definitely wasn't uh, since I've been qualified. So far, so good. Woohoo! It's great success. Well, that went well. I'm going to do another one. Oh. oh, should we do a foot drag? Nice. Too many dandelions to go through me prop. Make it all sticky. Dog chasing me. Stay away, little dog. I don't want you going through the prop. Oh, lumpy bumps. Up, down, up, down. Just go down. Try and do one on a bit of a turn. If I turn there, beautiful. Man, I hope that audio worked. I enjoyed that flight actually, although it was a little bit bumpy. It's uh, nice to get a reverse launch in, and it was nice to do a couple of touch and goes. Yeah, chuff with that. Right. Time to swap the camera over onto the selfie stick. Um, stop listening to me waffling, and then we'll see if we can get some decent footage off the pole. See you in a minute. <laughs> 